Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm working on this interesting tetration equation, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is solve for x as real number, and this is our equation. The right-hand side is only x cubed, but for the left-hand side, some of you might not be familiar with it. So this left-hand side, meaning you need to raise this base to the power for the same term. For how many times? For three times. So the left-hand side is the same as x to the power of x to the power of x. Raising the base to the power with the same term for three times. That is now equal to then x now cubed. So only by taking a look at it, we can get trivial solution, which is x is equal to negative 1, right? Because when x is equal to negative 1, then negative 1 to the power of negative 1 to the power of negative 1. This is simply negative 1 cube. So x is equal to negative 1. This is the trivial solution. Then we can possibly talk about two more solutions, right? So let me apply this natural law on the left and right hand side. Then the left hand side has to be x to the power of x times ln x. This is equal to now 3 times ln x. So in this case, we can talk about first of all, if your ln x, now this is equal to 0. So that's why now your x is equal to positive 1. This is another trivial solution. Then the next solution, maybe we can use Lambert W function, right? So for the next solution is if this x to the power of x is equal to now 3. Okay, so that's why your now x is going to be equal to 3 to the power of 1 over x. And this is the same as now e to the power of okay, ln 3 over x. So using this form, we can now talk about your ln 3. ln 3 is the same as now ln, ln 3 is equal to ln 3 over x. That times this e to the power of ln 3 over x as our equation. So that's why if you call this ln 3 as the ln 3 over x as the k. So calling k as ln3 over x, then what you have is now ln3 is equal to k times e to the power of k. The exact form for the Lambert W function that we wanted. So from this, we can now talk about your ln3 over x. Okay, That is going to be just the Lambert W of ln So that is why the remaining x value is equal to uh, ln3 over Lambert W of ln3. This is the last solution. Okay, so pretty interesting algebra question involving this tetration, right? So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.